I'm Dr. Romano, professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator of the Dot Destroyer books and the Orgoman products. I am here today with Professor Louis Blois, who's a mathematician, and he's going to go over some problems to help you on the DAT and the OAT exam. All right, Professor, show us what you got. Yeah, here we have today, we have three problems in algebraic exponents. Let's start with the first one. Given x to the minus 3 power is 27, which of the following could be the value of x? Okay, well, the difficulty with exponents is that there's instructions that are compressed in that little space up there in the component, in the exponent. So now let's see, we have x to the minus 3. This breaks down into two instructions. The negative sign means reciprocal, and the 3 means take it to the third power. So this could be rewritten as 1 over x to the third power. Okay, so that's the same thing as the original, and this is equal to 27. How do I solve a problem like that? Let's take the inverse of both sides, okay? So we're going to flip both sides, raise each side to the negative 1 power, and we get x to the third power is 1 over 27. So to solve for x, we need to take the cube root of 1 over 27. The cube root of 1 is 1, the cube root of 27 is 3, and there's our answer, it's choice E. So in a similar fashion, we go now to the second problem here. If a to the negative second power is 64, what is the value of 1 over a to the minus 2 thirds? Very similar, a little bit more complicated. We'll start the same way over here. a to the minus 2 is equal to 1 over a squared, and that's equal to 64. Let's solve that like we did the previous problem. We just flip both sides, and this becomes a squared equals 1 over 64. And we take the square root of numerator and denominator. Square root of 1 is 1. Square root of 64 is 8. a is equal to 1 eighth. So now we're ready to go on to the second part of the problem. What is the value of 1 over a to the minus 2 thirds? Okay, here we have that phenomenon in the exponent where we have a lot of instructions compressed into that little expression here. Negative 2 thirds. The negative means take the reciprocal. The 2 in the numerator of the uh, exponent means take it to the second power. The 3 in the denominator says take it to the third root. Okay, so 1 over a to the negative 2 thirds. If I take the reciprocal of this, it just brings it up to the numerator as a to the positive 2 thirds, okay, over 1, or just a to the 2 thirds power. We already know that a is equal to 1 eighth, so let's plug in a as 1 eighth, and we're taking this to the 2 thirds power. Okay, so now we followed one of the instructions of that the exponent, the negative, by inverting it. Now let's follow the remaining two instructions. The 3 in the denominator says take the cube root. Well, the cube root of 1 eighth is 1 half, so this is going to be 1 half to the 2 over 1. We don't need the 3 anymore because we've already followed that instruction. And 1 half to the second power, 1 half squared, is 1 fourth, and there's our solution. Okay, let's go to the third one. And this time a little bit more complicated, but it shows you the different contexts under which uh, you can find these algebraic exponent problems. x to the negative 2 thirds is 1 fourth, and y to the negative 3 halves is 27. Find the value of x over y. Okay, well, first, first thing we want to do is find the value of x and find the value of y. Okay, so let's take the first one. x to the minus 2 thirds is equal to 1 fourth. How are we going to handle this? What if we take both sides of this expression to the negative 1 power, okay, which means this will give us x to the 2 thirds, right? Uh, if I exponentiate, I multiply the exponents. 2 thirds times negative 1 is negative 2 thirds times negative 1 is 2 thirds. Negative 1 fourth to the negative 1 power. Negative 1 means take the reciprocal, so this simply means 4, all right? Now, how do I solve for x here? Well, I have x to the 2 thirds equals 4. Let's raise both sides of the equation to the 3 halves power, because 2 thirds times 3 halves is going to be equal to 1. So I'm going to raise both sides of this equation to the 3 halves power. 2 thirds times 3 halves is equal to 1. 4 to the 3 halves power, well, 
we do it in sequence. The denominator 2 says take the square root of 4, which is 2. The numerator says take that to the third power. 2 to the third power is 8. So we have x is equal to 8. All right. And now we have y to the negative 3 halves power is 27. We can do the same thing, raise each side of this equation to the uh, negative 1 power, or take the reciprocal of both sides. This will be y to the 3 halves is equal to 1 over 27. Then I'm going to take, instead of uh, to get y to the 1 power, I'm going to take each side of the equation to the 2 thirds power. So y to the 3 halves raised to the 2 thirds power, and then 1 over 27 raised to the 2 thirds power. 3 halves times 2 thirds is 1, y to the 1, and here we have the same thing. The 3 in the denominator says take the cube root of 1 over 27. That would be 1 third. The 2 says square that. 1 third squared is 1 ninth. So what we have x is equal to 8, y is equal to 1 ninth. What is the value of x over y? x over y is going to be 8 divided by 1 ninth which is a uh, complex fraction. We want to simplify that, so we'll multiply numerator and denominator by 9 to get x over y is equal to numerator. 8 times 9 is 72. Denominator, 1 ninth of 9 is 1. So the answer to the problem is 72. And there we are, some exponential al algebraic exponential problems. Absolutely one of the best algebra problems I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. Make sure you add these three to the Math Destroyer, guys. This is a very valuable clip that Professor Blois made. All right, great job, Professor oh, Blois. Thank you very much. Okay, good day to you. Bye-bye.